I am really surprised at how much I like this hardware. Um, hey everybody, welcome to Game Siders. I'm Yoshi on the Go, and this is the review of the Pikachu 2DS XL. Where on earth do we begin? I wasn't sure if uh, it was gonna work out at all, especially with the XL size, because the 3DS is already pretty pixelated. It's like 800 by 240p. So um, I guess let's just over, let's just talk about the design. And the design is something that I absolutely love because it's symmetrical. That's actually why I joined Team Instinct on Pokemon Go, is because the logo's symmetrical. Fun fact of the day. The design symmetry, not just with the Pikachu face, but just the whole system. Every angle of the system, every part of the system is just symmetrical and it just looks really good. Of course, uh, ever since the, the SP, the clamshell has been like the epitome of excellent portable design. Because when the screens are closed, they're protected. Everything is just perfectly smooth and rounded, and that's very Apple-like, and that's a very good thing. Unlike past uh, 3DS systems, the 3DS and even the new 3DS just has those weird edges. I really like the volume slider on this one. Nintendo has had rockers, wheels, and sliders in the past as well. This one is the best of the bunch. Uh, it actually will click, so you don't accidentally like bump it when you're like sneaking in some gameplay during class or something. However, the speakers being placed on the front of the device is not a very good design idea. The speakers are fine but they're not very loud and because they're shooting like down in like your, your lap and your stomach, they're not being shot at your ears. And furthermore, when you hold the device, your hands are covering up the speakers to block the sound even more. There is a headphone jack, so you can still get the best audio experience possible, you know, because a Nintendo lacks that Apple courage to take away um, important IO. <laughs> it's gotta be a manufacturing defect on my personal device, but on the blue indicator right here, it actually pops out a little bit, and that's kind of annoying, but it's not that big of a deal. So the stylus on this one is a, is quite a bit thicker, and it's a lot easier to hold that way, but it's so tiny, it's not exactly a good experience. One other thing I really love about the hardware is the uh, small handful of callbacks that it has to other systems. For example, the flap that covers up the SD card and the game card slot. I love it that when it's closed, I mean, just look how perfect uh, everything looks. And that's, of course, a callback to the DS Lite with its GBA slot. When there's a, not a game there, it just, like, look how beautiful this looks. Even better than the DS Lite is that this cover is actually attached, so you can't accidentally lose it. The system isn't without a few issues, I would consider. In order to save weight, the cameras are on the back instead of on the front. I think that's fine. They're just kind of crappy cameras. They work really well with AR, and the AR is pretty fun, but it fizzles out really quickly. Um, so let's talk about the buttons. The trigger buttons are seriously the best I've ever felt on any Nintendo console. They are easily my favorite. That also applies to the face buttons. The circle pad and the, the C-stick all feel really, really good. The D-pad, however, is kind of like loose and the D-pad is not bad, but it's not good. It's just average. Ooh, there's they're really good. You press buttons a lot in video games, so you, you better have a good button pressing experience. And they're just, they're perfect. And the shoulder buttons and the trigger buttons are easily the best, even better than the Switch. They're, they're just the best on any controller, on any, just on anything. Perhaps the biggest flaw of the 2DS is the fact that the screen is in 2D. The top screen is actually the same screen as is in the 3DS XL. It just doesn't have that parallax barrier that gives the 3D effect. Um, and I really, really like 3D. I love 3D movies. I love 3D games. I'm super, super bummed that this doesn't have 3D. I gotta reiterate that the screen is amazing. I'm just, I wish it was also 3D. That kind of wraps up the hardware side of things. Uh, but before we end, just the Pikachu aspect of it, which that's why I bought it to begin with, right? because it's Pikachu and I love this design. Face is immediately uh, reminiscent of the uh, Pikachu Game Boy Advance SP. It looks almost exactly the same. It's so adorable. Not only are the cheeks raised, snout area is also raised, 
and the nose is its own little like soft rubber piece and you can like boop <laughs> boop you can bop your pikachus on, on the nose and it's like it, oh my gosh it kills me with cuteness i just can't even it's it's just impossibly cute. One thing I don't like about the design is just the black border. It doesn't really fit at the color wise. It doesn't fit any other color in the rest of the system. And I, but o overall, the, the brown edges, the brown buttons, the shoulder buttons, and the brown D-pad and the face buttons, the accents, it just looks, it looks so good. So I've been a gamer for a really long time. And I have a lot of experience with these handhelds and I think I need to give it just a few more days or maybe another week, but I think the 2DS XL is the most perfect and my favorite handheld that Nintendo has ever made. The 2DS XL, especially the Pikachu 2DS XL, is almost perfect. This is an almost perfect system. Now is the time to jump on and be a Nintendo gamer, and you shouldn't do it with any other console but the 2DS excel it's seriously that good anyways thank you for watching i really appreciate the view please click the like button if you liked it or you learned something new or it made you smile in some way i really appreciate that thanks again for watching guys we'll see you later